Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. Like this. What is up guys? Super excited about today. It is actually Thursday in Vietnam and I am just excited. I'm about to have my dinner. So I was like wandering around for about five to 10 minutes. I was like, man, I'm so overwhelmed. What should I eat? So many things to choose from. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be having ban can uh, as my first meal. Uh, because you know, in Vietnam or usually with Asian countries, you eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, uh, midnight snack, and whole nine. So if you're ready, Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So just to give you a glimpse, let's zoom in a little bit. This is our ban can. Um, I don't know the English name for this, but it's basically vermicelli noodles, but they're a little bit of a thicker and um, more of a rounder version of noodles. And I'm going to be having it with, of course, we have our nuk mong, which is fish sauce on the side. Look how much it's loaded with chili. And uh, every table here has um, quail eggs. So if you want to eat the eggs, they it is a thousand dollars for one egg. So that's all right, guys. So I got my utensils all cleaned up. Just wanted to let you guys know whenever you guys are eating in Vietnam or using street food, you want to take a napkin and wipe these down. Um, I've got my uh, lime here. I'll squeeze this. Ooh. Uh, this is salt and pepper. So I'm going to squeeze this in because it's going to be good for me when I decide to dip. And the kind of meat that I got, it's actually a type of fish. So really excited. Ooh. Yay. My gosh. I don't know what it is, but when it comes to like seeing somebody squeezing lime, it just makes your mouth water. You know, you're like, ah, I'm ready to eat. I'm salivating. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and go in. Ooh, I wish you can see. Okay, let me just kind of show you guys a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, you see the strands of noodles? Um, a slightly clear, uh, but it's thicker. It's very different from uh, pho. It's a little bit chewier as well. And uh, the fish that comes with this, it's called gao lao. I don't know what type of fish this is. I'll find out. I can, I'll let you know. Yeah. So, to be honest with you guys, I have not had pho. Yes, okay, don't kill me. I've been in Vietnam for three and a half months. I have not had pho. I'm just not big on pho, you know? I'm not really big on soupy things, to be honest with you. Only when I'm craving for it, then I'll go have it. Otherwise, I'm all about the ban hoi, ban bao, the drier things. Bong, which is like vermicelli noodles, you know, or rice cakes. That's more like my jam. Where's my yours? Mmm. <laughs> wow. It's so flavorful, guys. Man. Mmm. I just bit. Oh my gosh, I just popped a big piece of chili in my mouth. <coughs> Woo. Man, that was not a good idea. Mm. Go ahead and uh, take a piece, a little bit of uh, salt and pepper here with the lime. Mm. Gives it a nice. It gives it a nice zest for sure. I'm gonna have a piece of fish. So I'm gonna take a bite without dipping it, just to see. Wow. Okay, check out this fish. It's very creamy, guys. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. I've definitely been working on my noodle slurping skills for sure. 
<laughs> a lot of my uh, YouTuber friends, they're so good at it. Mm. What's up guys? So I am basically done with my first part of the dinner. I killed the whole bowl. It was so good. Anyway, I just stopped at this one shop. I'm gonna show you a quick um, back drop of what the shop looks like. Isn't it cute? So this place guys, they specialize on sticky rice. They have all sorts of stuff, mainly savory ones, but they do have one special kind, which is mango sticky rice. So I'm super excited to try it out. I'm getting Vietnamese egg rolls. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting sticky rice, I'm getting Vietnamese egg rolls because uh, I really wanted to try their mango sticky rice, but they don't have mango right now. Anyways, check out my drink. Yay! So this is uh, soy milk, man. I'm so excited. I don't know why I have a craving for soy milk. So let's let's do this. First sip yours. Mmm. Uh, it's so fresh, man. Like I feel like everything here in Vietnam is so fresh. All right, guys. So my egg rolls just arrived. You guys have to check out this style of egg rolls. If you notice, the skin is quite different from regular like um, Vietnamese or Chinese egg rolls because they actually use rice paper. Yes, the clear rice paper to wrap these. Um, so the texture is quite different. Um, and in central Vietnam, this is how we make our egg rolls, so. All right guys, so let's go ahead and dig in. I'm really excited about this. So I haven't had like this type of Vietnamese egg rolls in about 30 years, so let's go in. First bite is yours. Hmm. So crunchy. So the reason why I love this type of um, spring rolls more is because the skin is very light and it's crispier than the other type of skin. And it's got like more texture. You see? Mm. So the sauce. Um, slightly sweet, thick, um, savory for sure. It's definitely not spicy at all, although it looks spicy. Mm. Okay. Mm. I think I would prefer to have this with um, fish sauce versus this type of chili sauce. Mm. Okay, last bite. Uh, FYI, just to let you know, whenever you have egg rolls, if you want to just take some lettuce, or, um, yeah, some sort of lettuce, doesn't matter. You wrap the egg rolls with that and you dip it into a fish sauce. That tastes really good and it's very refreshing. Um, and it adds, you know, some healthy portion to the egg rolls that you're eating. So try that out and let me know what you think. guys our drink is out I'm super excited who's excited show of hands <laughs> all right so here's my drink it is the ginger tea it's hot and the very special thing and I'm gonna give you a close-up shot is uh, it has salted prune inside uh, yes I don't know if you guys have ever had like a lemonade with salted prune but it is so awesome it's very refreshing I usually get it cold but this time we're actually last time rather at this one coffee shop I had it Hot, and it was just epic and so I wanted to try it again today but then I saw this ginger prune I was like dude I have to try this one yeah so I'm really excited but um yeah just show you a quick glimpse 
of this coffee shop. Isn't it cute? Oh man, I'm telling you, like something about Vietnam and coffee shops, they're everywhere. Every, maybe a minute, every one minute or two minutes that you walk along the street, you'll see a coffee shop. And they're all decorated very nicely. I just feel like, you know, um, the Vietnamese culture, coffee is the end thing. And if you guys have never had Vietnamese coffee, dude, you're missing out. You need to go search for some and try it out right now. And just warning, don't drink it at night because it's very strong. <laughs> you probably won't sleep um, or you'll fall asleep really late. So anyway, let's go ahead and dig in to this amazing ginger tea with salted plum. All right guys, so I think this um, had some time to kind of soak in the sugar, the salted plums, so let's go ahead. Cheers! First sip, yours. Oh my gosh. Uh, so good, so good, so good. Like this ginger is actually quite strong. Man, so my stomach is immediately warm as it hits my stomach. Wow. You know, I don't taste the salted plum that much yet. I'm guessing it's because it still needs some time. Or I Okay, so this part, I want to go ahead and kind of take a bite of this salted plum. Mmm. Slightly salty. It actually tastes different than the other salted plum. You know, there's, I don't know, 20 different varieties of salted plums. Mmm, so good. Yeah. So good. Oh, and the slices that I showed you guys earlier, you know, the thin slices, this one, it's actually some sort of like a tree bark. Um, but it's very, very healthy. It's like some sort of an herb or ginseng. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I mean, I don't know how to say it in English, but Vietnamese is Gam Pao, whatever that is. All right, guys, so it is a wrap to this awesome video. I had a great time um, just exploring the nearby street next to my uh, Airbnb home. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, make sure you do and hit the bell so that you do not miss any further videos. I'm telling you, I'm in Vietnam right now. It's got amazing, epic eats for sure every single week, so you don't want to miss out. Um, and do me a favor and let me know um, which one was your favorite. And if there's anything that you also want me to explore and eat for you, I'll eat on, my, I'll eat on your behalf. I'll be glad to do that. Hey guys, I'm so glad that you guys have joined me today. Thank you so much for all your love and all your support. You guys definitely mean a lot to me. And so with that, over and out from Danang. Bye!